The Flyers going into the All-Star break, feeling pretty good about themselves after beating the Jets 4-2-0. Welcome into Post Game Live, presented by Curato Insurance. Ashlyn Sullivan, Scott Hartnell, and Al Morganti here with you after the Flyers suffered back-to-back -back overtime losses. The question was, how would they respond with one game left going into this All-Star break? And they now go in feeling good about themselves and where they stand right now. That was a terrific game. Just a complete 60-minute effort. Carter Hart, unbelievable. Uh, a lot of guys had... Probably their best game in a Flyers uniform for me, Delorier. Uh, Bristol Line. Bristol Line and Sealer played so solid. Uh, but yeah, just a, now you don't want to have a break. <laughs> you want to keep going, but uh, just a well, well deserved, well needed break. They, yeah, was, they fought well, yeah. back and had a, a good first, you know. Zone games. to zone to zone, from goaltender to the defense. They get a kid come in and score a goal. You know, Bells comes in and scores a goal. People out of the lineup. So. I, it was an impressive win, especially as you mentioned, after the losses that they had, see how they're going to respond in this thing. And I think that's one of their better efforts of the season. Yep. Absolutely. It now leads us to our Colonial Nissan Game Changer, which is Carter Hart. His first shutout win of the season for him, the fourth of his career. And just, he was absolutely unstoppable tonight. He was dialed in right from the get-go, right? Uh, you know, focused on shots. There were, there were some rebounds here and there. It wasn't one of those perfect games where everything's just kind of sticking to him. But uh, just everyone's coming back here. Look at, look at the effort there by the white jersey. He's coming back to that blue paint. Uh, that's so important to help out your goaltender. And, and that was more of a, a team shutout, I would say, more than just a, a goaltender playing lights out. Yeah, they, they really battled, literally battled in front of him when there was traffic in front. There was a lot of it as they got in front, tried to get traffic in front of the goalie, but the Flyers would have had none of it. Delorier certainly was involved in an awful lot of it. Man, even when there was a rebound that scooted out, everybody in front, there's the battles that they had all night yep. long. So that was a, it was a team shutout, but Hart, that was a lot of, a lot of really individual good, great saves by Hart. Good defense. There's another rebound there, and they come in, and he follows it up. Yes, Carter Hart, 40 saves in the shutout. That is the most saves he's had in a shutout in his career. The previous was 29, so a big gap with that. And in pregame, we talked about with Carter Hart, he only has one win in his last five games. And we really think for him, this would be huge as well to go into All-Star break, just kind of reestablishing what he is as a goal. Yeah, you know, he's, he's getting some points off of some uh, overtime losses, things like that. So it's not like he's they're getting blown out by three, four goals. So he has been been playing great, keeping the Flyers in games, but it was nice to uh, get that shout out. Uh, you know, it was Sam Harrison uh, last week where the 59 and change uh, minutes uh, with a shout out and then uh, let in a late goal. So it was nice to see the Flyers kind of yeah. buckle down, especially late to get in this shout out. Yeah, and, and early in the year, he was playing so well and was like, they, got, they were getting points, didn't look like actually yeah. deserved as a team. They deserved this one uh, throughout from beginning to end to get a team like Winnipeg that really can fly. We saw it here. And to get the early goal on them uh, was. And then to kind of shut it down late, it was it, it looked like Scott it, a little bit in the in the middle of the game got a little wobbly for the Flyers, but they managed to come back. Yeah, that timeout, uh, Rick Bonus, yes. the coach of the Winnipeg Jets, called it and kind of just gave it to his teammate at the, uh, or sorry, all the players on the bench, uh, come on, start playing, let's get some energy, you know. And, and how do you, how do you do that? You kind of rough it up after the whistles, and I uh, got a little physical there on uh, for both teams, which is great to see. A little uh, feistiness is never a bad thing, and uh, you know the Flyers kind of dominated that too. That you know no one wants to mess with Delorier. Sealer, those guys, it's, uh, you know, they kind of calm down when yeah. the scrums, when those guys are on the ice, which is great. For sure. And kind of the knock on the Flyers of late is that they can't finish these games, right? But that was totally not the case tonight. Two goals in the third period. Owen, Owen Tippett, Tony D'Angelo, both guys that really contributed to finish this game. Yeah, well, talk about guys that are hot. I mean, Rista Line had one great pass out, out front, and then <laughs> this one here to go <laughs> in. I mean, he's just on fire, and so is D'Angelo. Yeah, just a nice play here. York uh, kind of in front of this. Starts from their own end, literally 200 feet from the net. A little uh, fortunate on the tip by, by the Jets defender, right on the tape there for Tippett. He's got the speed. He's got the he's got the shot. And, and you know, we've been talking about yeah. the, the Giroux trade, right? This is this is a good pickup, right? A young kid uh, going to be in the prime of his career the next, you know, six, seven years. And just a great, uh, a great shot there on a breakaway. Yeah, and then Tony D'Angelo. This is back-to-back -back nights. And, boy, he's really showing some offense. I know people will say something about his defense. Defense, but his ability to, Jonesy calls it changing the angle, he moves with it, he finds a lane, and he's, and I, it, that's a lot of goals for a defenseman. And when we, at the beginning of the season, we mentioned he's going to be worth it on the power play, he's worth it on more than the power play is offense. Yeah, that's the, just smelling that goal, uh, like that chance of getting a goal from his own end, he kind of cut his route short uh, before the net and got on his horse there, what a pass there by Scotty Lawton. I think Tony D knocked that out of the air and then yeah. absolutely
absolutely roofed that thing and got Connor Hellebuck, uh, one of the best goaltenders in the league, yanked out of the game, <laughs> and, and uh, you know, they finished off strong. Yeah, you don't see that every night, that's for sure. The Flyers with a big win to head into All-Star break. We have much more to come here on Post Game Live, presented by Curado Insurance. We're going to hear from our stargazer, Noah Cates, with JJ and Jonesy on the other side. So stay with us here on NBC Sports Philadelphia. Flyers Post Game Live is presented by Pure Auto Insurance. See how much.